Well, I'm taking a new file. I'm pressing Ctrl N for the window. Okay, it's getting slow. Well, I'll rename first as business card and then I have taken width 3.5 and height is 2, artboard 2 and this time I'll not take bleed, I'll take it tomorrow because today we are on the basic level and I'm creating. Well, control minus so that I can watch it clearly. Well, at first, what we'll do? I'm taking this two file together. I'll take the rectangle tool and make a rectangle first because this is the main work you have to do whenever you will take a new file and without a stroke. There will be no stroke, and I'm taking the selection tool. I'll hold and press the alter and I'll take it here. Well, I'm selecting both of them and control 2 so that you don't get disturbed by them. Well, now I need a logo for my business card. But actually, we didn't learn logo. And we are not expert on that. For this, I'm starting with logo also. So we'll see that how we can make a logo within a short time. I'm taking a square and taking the color from here. Well, that's it. And take the selection tool, hold and press the altar and make one copy. Well, then select both of them and then click the second option. You have got this. And the size is not accurate. This is thin and this is thick. So what I'll do, I'll adjust them. First, I have to change the color so that I can adjust them properly. Well, and select both of them and then click on the second option. And now, what you can do, you can press and hold the altar and make one copy. If I rotate this, right click on the rectangle or on the transform selection reflect 90 degree okay and you will get it like this well now what I'll do I'll take them here and I'll take the text tool I'll click here so that I can write something well it's creating problem And then I'll change the style from here. Well, I'm taking this one and take the selection tool, select this, and you can increase it by pressing the shift key if you don't want to use this. Well, and then I'm making one more copy of this, my first rectangle. I'll hold and press Alter and rotate it. Well, right click, transform, reflect. Okay. So, well, I have got this. Um, I'll place it here. 
Well, suppose this is my logo and I'll select all of them and press Ctrl G and hold on press the shift decrease the size this is my front page of the business card so I'll not put in terms of design here okay and we can work on background later well this is the center and I'll take the text I'll decrease the size and place them there suppose this is my company name because first K is for my name Kajil and second one is for my mother our names start also K so I'm taking it in the middle you will align them with the alignment option and I'll select all of them well I have to change this color that means text color it's not looking good Well, that's perfect and I'm selecting all of them and control G suppose this is my logo and what we can do now we have done it before I'm taking the pen tool and I'll click here otherwise you can click on the center and then go there with the same direction with pressing shift so that you can get a very straight line don't lose the mouse <laughs> well I'm going back I'm taking the pen tool again and I'll click on the middle yes this one is the center and then I'll go there at the right I'll hold and press the shift so that I can get a straight line and drag it in this side well and click here after that go there at the anchor point with pressing shift so that you can get a very straight line and close the line and you have got this one and then press control 2 so that it will also get locked to that Take the pen tool again click here and come here with pressing shift and don't lose your mouse well and click here with pressing shift go the, at the top point and come this anchor point and then close it after that select this and change its color well now send it to the backward press control plus first curly bracket it will go there so if you want you can make any types of design with the pen tool and you have to do that if anyone asks you I'm unlocking this by pressing control alter 2 and I'll just select this one and this one this background control 2 so that they will not create problem and I am selecting both of them control G and hold and press the altar and take it here otherwise if I right click here then transform rotate if I give here 90 degree or 180 degree see what happens it's go at the top point well just take it down and take your logo here well they are not grouped control G with pressing shift and select them and control G and take them top well so you can make any types of business card by your idea but you will not do that what is your task you will go to the Google and you will search here Illustrator business card design and you will search for few images for your help and then click on this image and there are various types of shapes you can take 
and at first take some shapes which is which you can create with the pen tool and these are also very much easy well uh, you you may think that this is so difficult and this is so difficult actually there is no difficulty here just the work of pen tool and the color we'll learn that i like that card it's very good okay so these types of designs you can say that these are the complex design mm, and if you give a gig like these types of card then you might get offer from the buyer and these are the shape of the pen tool and these are very easy in Photoshop either you can take the rectangle tool or you can take the pen tool It's very easy I'm showing you suppose we have done making this and this time I'll take the rectangle tool background is there because I have taken it before and I locked it I just make a rectangle take the direct selection tool and click here one time and then I'll take it here well it's so much easy here in Illustrator well I can see that yes it's still here and there is another shape and there is also another shape well I'm taking it here after that what you can do you can take a triangle I told you how we'll make triangle well I have got this and you have to work a little bit with the triangle I'm changing its color so that I can understand it clearly decrease them with pressing shift well I'm decreasing the size after that take the direct selection tool click here one time and second time come here well it has got lots of points I had to take a rectangle tool but I can't do it here properly because there are lots of anchor points I can't do that so pen tool will be better for me and let's see just from here to here and here oh. and I'll come here and then I'll come here I'll go there at the top so whenever you go for a straight line hold and press the shift and click here but I told you that in Photoshop if it goes outside of the workspace it doesn't matter but in in illustrator if it goes outside of this then it will create a very great problem so I'm selecting this one and this one and press ctrl 2 and lock them I'm taking the pen tool I'll just click here I'll not take any types of accurate measurement here because I'll send it backward and I'll click here click here well I'll select this select this one and I'll change this color I'm changing this color and then I'll select this and I'll send it backward well like this so it doesn't matter what is in the back and if I change this color you will understand it clearly well that's it so these types of business card are very much easy in illustrator and these types of shape are you understanding yes that is also very much easy not very much difficult well I'm, I'm unlocking them control alt 2 and select this one if you wanna put a shadow here just select this one effect you will find all of the effects here and first stylus there are second stylus also here so take it from the first stylus and drop shadow after that take it here and click here preview then lay and see then it's in this well my illustrator and I have got the shadow in this direction so I have to change it from here 
if I give it here uh, 50 see what change what are the changes you can see well it has goes in the middle well and if I give it to 70 see what happens well go to the effect and stylize and draw shadow yes i am clicking on the preview and i'll change it to another direction well it's not this direction and i'll take it here well that's it yes and here you have got this shadow in this direction otherwise what you can do if you don't follow this then what you can do you can take a rectangle and photoshop is not only interesting for putting shadow because that is for editing so here what you can do you have to select this and if you make one more copy then if you take a color like this after that you will send it to backward and it will go there and if you place it and if you increase the color a little bit and then you have to blur this that means this one you have to blur go to the effect and there are stylize not blur from here you can make it blur gaussian blur radial blur which you want well and delete this portion if you don't need that so we are just learning that what types of work we can do what we can apply and then i'm showing you how to make another logo well suppose you are taking the pen tool click here go there and come here and come here and come here and i have made this after the other hole and press alter and rotate it in this direction Well, if you want, you can keep it like this. Well, Control J, Control Two for locking it and selecting this one. My computer is getting slow, very slow. Well, and I'm decreasing the size. Well, can anyone tell me what type of logo is this? Very good, real estate. And then if I rotate it in this direction, that's perfect. Well, now I can add more few things here. Well, I'll hold and press the shift. I'll change this color. Change the selection tool. Well, they are aligned, I think. Um, well it will not work like this align and distribute them well i'm deleting them after that i'll select both of them i'll hold and press order make a copy of control z well and then I'll take them select control G and I'll place it here I'll hold and press alter and shift and I'm selecting them control alter G for ungrouping them I'll select this one right click ungroup select and change the color and select this one change this color and select this one, change color. Over. 
this is the logo understood actually this is a logo 